Axel Lange checks this glider one last time before presenting it to the customer. The glider costs nearly a quarter of a million euros. In general, our customers fly a lot and are usually highly trained pilots. 25% of our customers fly commercially and they spend a lot of time in their planes. Lange has been involved with sailplanes since he was 15. Today he's an aeronautical engineer and he builds his own aircraft. Here we have a plane with a really wide span. It has very long, narrow, elongated wings. That gives the glider excellent flight characteristics. You can climb very well with it and also glide very well. From an altitude of just 1,000 meters, you can glide for around 56 kilometers. The fuselage is made of carbon fiber. It's being built by a team of about 25 mechanics at the firm. They're gluing it together layer by layer dozens of them. It's a labor-intensive process. They produce just one sailplane a month. The shapes are basically all curved. If you want to try to produce these extremely difficult forms with robots, then the necessary computer programs and the robots as well would have to be very complex. It makes more sense to build them by hand. And it's cheaper too. Lange designs the gliders with the help of other engineers. When an aircraft is powered only by wind, weight is a major factor. That's why all gliders look so slim and sleek. In fact, they're so light that you can pick them up. This fuselage weighs just 50 kilograms. Every detail has to be right. For example, the holes for the cables on the wings. Most of the staff are experienced tradesmen, not aircraft builders. At some point, they fell in love with making planes, like master carpenter Michael Kimle. We live in a fantastic era. A hundred years ago, this was all still extremely adventurous. People really gave their best, but it often didn't work out very well. But today, we're witness to this wonderful time. The team builds around 200 different parts from composite fiber. Two elements are glued together to make the tail rudder. Here you see the adhesion process. There's a molding separation process and inside they're glued together again. The components all have to be mounted together. That takes place in this hangar. This is where the team installs the motor and other technology, including the aircraft's batteries. They drive the electric motor which is situated in the middle of the propeller. After it brings the sailplane up to gliding altitude, it retracts. Electrical drives don't cause a lot of vibration, the upkeep on them is minimal, and they're very easy to service and operate. Final assembly looks simple. The wings are easily attached. That means the glider can be transported fairly easily by people who sail plane as a hobby and don't want to rent space in a hangar. The boss flies every plane himself first. To start, he climbs to around 2,000 meters. You have to watch closely to see the moment when the motor retracts. From then on, there's nothing left to do but ride the wind. <laughs> 